That's it. I'm done. I can't even take it anymore. I don't even care. You think I care? I don't care. Why? Why? I don't even care anymore. I don't care. Nobody cares. Hey guys, Anthony here, and welcome to another video. You might have noticed the other day I uploaded Call of Duty, or is Call of Duty Mobile worth my time? Short answer, yes. Yes, it is. But I made a few errors in that video, and you know, hey, I'm not perfect. I'm only a human. I'm only a human gamer man who knows way too much about video games, so sometimes I assume I know everything, and I don't really double check exactly when I'm talking about. Point is, there's a few things I wanted to cover and also check out the game on PC. So first off, one of the biggest things I saw in the comments was Kill House is not from Modern Warfare 2, it's from Call of Duty 4. That's true, and I'm sorry, I got that wrong. Another thing I kept seeing in the comments was people saying Activision had nothing to do with this game, it was all Tencent. Tencent, they're the good guys, they made the good game, not Activision. Okay, but then I have to say, Activision approved everything Tencent was doing, so they also had a part in it. And the counter argument I say to that is Nintendo had to approve everything in Mario Kart Tour or whatever's on the phone and that game turned out to be shit. But out of all the things, the biggest thing people were saying is, you can play Call of Duty Mobile on PC already. What are you talking about? I would like to see the game brought to PC like PUBG Mobile. It could be a good free to play alternative for people with lower end hardware. So in the video, I showed a couple of clips of me trying out different emulators. I used Bluestacks and some other emulator I had found online. And in both instances, when I was recording stuff for the video earlier in the first week it came out, they crashed every time and I made it very shortly you'll see in the video, I made it to the tutorial and just picked up a gun and then it crashed. So that's where I was with Call of Duty Mobile emulation on PC. I thought it just wasn't there yet, needs some updates, but apparently I was just using the wrong program. A lot of people were saying I need to use the official Tencent emulator, uh, Game Loop or Gaming Buddy. It seemed to have a couple of different names. So I did what people were saying and looked up Game Loop Call of Duty Mobile. You just pick the first one. And right here, you go here, and you get a big page that says the official Call of Duty Mobile on PC. I've actually not officially tried this yet, but apparently a lot of people are playing on this, and I wanna check out the official, as it says right there, official Call of Duty Mobile PC port. And now, there is some debate between this PC port, like, being right, in the sense of, you know, the community. Like, if you're playing on PC, you're instantly gonna be better than someone on mobile devices. And I get that argument. I've actually gone back and forth on this. In previous videos, I've said, they allow you to use a controller in this mobile game? That's unfair. But my my thoughts have kind of shifted a bit now that crossplay has become so ubiquitous in console gaming. So I get the one side of it where you wanna be able to play with your friends regardless of the platform you own. If all you have to play Fortnite is your phone and you wanna play with someone on Xbox or PC, it's nice that you can do that even though you know going in you're gonna be at a disadvantage. So on that side of things, it's better for gamers for sure. But if you go to the other side, it's bad for competitors. I think the industry itself is leaning more towards crossplay on everything so I don't see the biggest problem with having this on PC and plus if this runs well It could be a good alternative free-to-play alternative to the bigger Call of Duty games on PC and other platforms So I already downloaded it the other night and now you're gonna get my first experience in Call of Duty mobile on PC I haven't even played it yet Let's just hope this works or this whole video will be really short check the red line if it's really close to the end It didn't work all right, so we have Game Loop open, and I've never actually heard of Game Loop. It seems to be more of a popular thing in China, or because it's officially a Tencent thing. But it's interesting to see the games that are on here. It's like a Steam for mobile games, but on your computer, which is really interesting. Oh, poor modern ops. Those guys are screwed now that Call of Duty's out. Now, I've used a few phone emulators before, mainly uh, Bluestacks. So this is very similar, where, you know, it, it basically just turns your computer into a phone. So I'm gonna click Call of Duty. It launches it like a phone game. All right, so, so far it looks like the phone version of the game. We're downloading resources. Remember the whole bit with the beard? Come on! So it looks like it's running. I hit accept. I'm gonna log in through Facebook. I'm hoping it carries over my progress from the phone version of the game to this, so that way I don't have to, you know, grind to get to level 10 where everyone says, that's where it gets hard. I like the challenge. There's a bunch of stuff. Yep, click, click, click. Yep, just like the mobile game. Nothing different there. All right, this guy is looking a little pixelated. Well, not pixelated, but his edging lacks aliasing. Let's see if we can fix that. Graphics quality, max. Yeah, depth of field, max. Ragdolls, anti-aliasing, there we go. All right, I know it's a phone game, but I'm putting the 2080 Ti through its paces. I guess 
were just here in the main menu. Maybe I, do I have to reboot it to make the graphics changes take effect? All right, so let me just go ahead and restart the game. Also, a bunch of people were asking, they saw this in the thing, in the, in the video where you can pull it apart, the controller and your phone goes in there. You can't really see the thing, so I'll put it on screen, but the, the official name of this is the STK707X. And I actually plan on doing a video on this and other like mobile attachments I've accumulated over the years. Uh, very soon, but if you want to look it up, that's the number. All right, you can still tell the anti-aliasing, but maybe once I get in the game, it'll look a lot better. So let's actually play. Let's just jump right in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hang on. Got to change the settings. Got to throw... Yeah, very low, please. Um, oh, it's, it's tap to aim down sights. It's toggle. Nobody likes toggle. At least not in these games. I've seen some people go like Rainbow Six to go with toggle. Yes, Call of Duty. No. Now, I will say, blown up to this scale, uh, this game does not look as impressive, but I don't think I'm getting the full, uh, graphics effects here, because it's very, like, pixelated, anti-aliasing is awful. There's gotta be more I can do to get this game fully looking right. But right now, I'm running around, it feels like Call of Duty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, aim down sights needs to need some work. So I wonder, does this still have the aim assist mode? On the phone, you can clearly tell there's a pretty heavy aim assist going on. If I just aim, kind of. All right, so there is still aim assist going on. So it, do it doesn't feel right. When I shoot, you know, when I'm just aiming down sights, that's my aim. But as soon as I fire, it's like, whoa! All right, we gotta be, I gotta be missing something. Oh, firing, I didn't realize, because this is a mobile game, firing sensitivity is a thing. Okay, all right, that is much more acceptable. When I run out here, let's see. I, I point, I fire, all right, much more acceptable. Um, I still want to tweak a few things, but that makes much more sense. I will say, controls are still not smooth. It feels like what it is, an emulated phone game being played with keyboard and mouse. It's definitely more accurate, but it, it definitely has a feeling of jank to it. Predator missile coming in. Oh, I can't, I gotta drag the screen. That is, that's janky. Where's my little, is that guy in here? It sounded like he was right here. Uh, let's see. Throw it. Bye, bitches. Bye, him. <laughs> I just love watching that thing just fly right into their faces. Just goes right into their face and BAM! You know, this might be a deal where aiming down sights really isn't the best. Maybe, you know, hip firing in this kind of a thing might be the way to go. Because when I aim down sights, it gets strangely less accurate. I don't know what I'm... Uh, it's weird. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hello, everybody. Hi. All right, before we start playing just legit, I want to work on these graphics settings because it doesn't feel right. That's also something I'm feeling. You can notice I put on the FPS counter and it's locked to 60. I wonder if there's a way to change that or is that just what I got? All right, I need a moment to tweak. I'll be right back. This looks better. So I just changed a couple of settings I found in Game Loop. Uh, there's the there's the engine setting, but then there's the game setting where you can say I want to be gaming at HD at all times, and I want you to prioritize you know HD quality. And I gotta say, this guy right now already looks better. So what might be the case is these elements here, you know, all of these kinds of things are still blurry, but the 3D elements in the emulator can be you know bumped up to whatever resolution that's needed. So let's see how it looks now in game. Okay, in game. Things, you know, clearly look very simplified. And that's how the phone looks as well. There's things lacking lots of, I'm used to, you know, what's that stuff? God, why can't I remember this? It's the stuff that between like a corner here, you have a shadow, which is, is that ambient occlusion? Is that ambient occlusion? Yes? That is definitely what this game is lacking, which is interesting. But putting just the resolutions up, it is still running at 60 FPS, but this already looks a lot better compared to what we were doing before, which was just a 720p image stretched out on my screen. All right, we're getting closer and closer to a Call of Duty feeling. Let me throw one more little drone in this guy's face. Come on, there's gotta be a guy just hanging out. The guy just wants a drone right in his face. Where is he? He probably wants it. Guy around the corner want it? You want it? Take it. I killed the car instead. Oh, this glitch happened before. I don't know why it's happening. I, I think I've seen that online somewhere where it showed a whole bunch of stuff, but there it is. Trigger warning, epilepsy warning, some kind of warning. Let's see, let's go run around with a shotgun. Five, four, three, two. This is like Wizard of Oz. Oh, welcome to the land of Oz, full of color. More or less, you know, you're getting what you get with this game. It's a mobile game blown up to a, you know, computer-sized screen. It wasn't meant to be this, and I'm too far away. Oh, dodge, duck and dodge. Da, gah, 
Ha ha! It's weird, yeah, I just had a weird, this is a weird demake kind of vibe. When you're playing it on your phone, you get it, you know, oh, it's a mobile version. But on the PC, you're like, huh, it's interesting to see because Call of Duty could have, you know, been popular 10 years before it really was. You never know. Uh, it could have, it could have been a whole big thing on, because this could have ran on the PS2. You know, the, obviously the resolution would have been a lot lower. Oh my god, I think I see what people say when they're like, uh, oh, people on PC, it's unfair. Yeah, a little bit. Mind you. Uh, on the on the PC side or on the phone side of things. I'm actually pretty good, too So well, I, I don't mean pretty good I mean you can go on some pretty big rampages on the PC version as well or on the phone version as well Can I get a nuke? Am I gonna get a nuke? Is that what's gonna happen? Oh, oh, oh save me. Oh, did I die? Oh, I saved myself with a predator missile. That's uh, very lucky very lucky good timing there. Oh nine and oh I was doing all right so yeah, this is interesting. It's clearly like a cheaper version of Call of Duty, but it still has the feeling of what I'd expect a Call of Duty to be. You run around, you shoot things, and you do it quickly. How do I knife? What's the knife here? I don't know. Grenade. Can I throw this? Die! Blow up. Oh! Oh, we both had the same, same idea. Oh, never mind. We just have Superman here with the Predator missile going into my face. Oh, flamethrower. Here we go, here we go. Yeah! Ah! 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 <laughs> you know, the fire effect actually looks pretty good, all things considered. Um, maybe it's because of the way the element's made, but it looks pretty good. Where's the bad people? Where are you? Where are you, bad people? I need to burn you! I want to burn you to death, please! Where are you? How do you get a, uh, a, a nuke? You know, I've, I don't think in my entire life I've ever gotten an actual nuke in Call of Duty. Um, oh god, I died. Not, not even in Modern Warfare 2, not even back in the day. I have a drone! I'm gonna go throw it into somebody's face. This is my favorite part of this game. I never played Black Ops 2 very much, so if this was in Black Ops 2... Ah! Oh, I'm barbecued! Oh, I smell good! Ooh, that's a fancy skinned gun. Somebody has there. Ooh, I've never used this gun. Look how fancy that skin is! Is this a shotgun? Oh, no. No, it's not. But it's on the ground. Look how they spin. They spin on the ground like they're in, uh, in, like, Quake. See? See, guys, you can lose even if- even with the advantage of PC. Oh, oh, I'm the final kill, aren't I? Yep, there I go. I really hate these goofy ending dances. I'm glad they're not in the new Modern Warfare. At least I didn't see them in the beta. They always look silly to me. They're like, oh, you military shooter, run around, shoot people. Stop. I mean, I feel like sniping is going to be just completely unfair. Here we go. So I've gone on a few similar rampages on the phone, but on PC it does seem to be a bit easier. So, like I said, I'm not supporting the fact that it's a little unfair, it's its a, its a complicated topic right now that I'm not here to figure out the answer for, I just want to play a video game. Oh, and I just remembered, there's an FOV slider in the game, of course. Alright, let's crank that up. At least 75 is better than nothing. Oh wow, okay, that already looks a lot more like a PC shooter. It's no 90, but I'll take it. I gotta remember to let go. And then R, see, my, oh, my, my old Call of Duty instinct is to, you know, as soon as you're done aiming- Oh, see, look! I have to remember to let go. That guy slid right in. Damn, damn! There's gotta be a way to fix this. Because, or I mean, there doesn't have to be a way, obviously, but it does not. Aiming, reset weapon aim, uh, tap to crouch, display on the fire on the left, fire, quick run from prone, fixed joystick, whatever. It doesn't seem like there is a setting for making it so when you press it fires. So, I mean, you could get used to it. Man, it, it does not feel right. Where, where on the phone, the addition of that feature made it feel a lot more like Call of Duty. Snipers have an interesting tweak as well, where holding the button will aim down the scope, but letting go will then fire the gun. This makes pop shots with the sniper rifle feel like they should in a Call of Duty game. This ruins the sniping, so on PC, unless there's a way to fix it, don't snipe. Do like that guy did and blow me away with an SMG. Alright, let's try this tiny little AK. Let's try one of those. Equip that. We'll try that guy. You know, I have not, like I said before, I have never gotten a nuke in Call of Duty, and if PC is that much better than playing on your phone, I sh it should be easy. It should be easy, right? So that's my goal. My goal is to get a nuke. Simple as that. I can't see that being a problem. I'm just gonna hop in, we're gonna do the thing. Nukes are in this game, right? I've seen a lot of people talk about them. I've never actually... S are there nukes in Call of Duty Death Mobile? Match. Oh, I'm just standing there in the game, but apparently you have to get to level 20, which I am, and then how many kills do you have to get? Let's see. Getting 20 kills in a row. 20 kills! I can do that! 
I'm, 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 I'm on PC. I'm on PC. I can do that. It's easy. Let's, let's give it a shot. This is either going to be easy or going to prove a point. One of the two. There's one. Just got to play it more safe. I got to play it more uh, more carefully, you know? No, relax, Pan. Relax, Pan Master. I'm your friend. It's okay. What? Hunter killer drone. No, I love you guys. You How, how could you betray me? Nope, nope, nope. Nope. There we go. Reload it. Reload it. Oh, grenade. Oh, boy. Going up the stairs? I, I feel like you're coming up the stairs. Yep. There you are. All right. E. Give us the give us the fire. Hit the fire button. I hit the fire button. Here, I, Of course, there's nobody around when I have the fire button. Nobody's here. What? What killed me? Me? Did I kill me or did you kill me? Another guy. Wait. Oh, there was two flamethrower people. All right. This might be harder than I thought. Level it up. There you go. I'm level 22. I'm just under. I'm just above the level I need to be to do the nuke thing. So that's good. You know, actually, I was really killing it with the RPD yesterday because you don't have to reload that gun very often. Uh, you could just spray and pray. So maybe that'll help here. I require hydration for my next match. Oh, this is something I wanted to say in the vid in, in the main video, and I never got around to it. Uh, is the announcer guy totally not the guy from Toonami who was like, I can't wait to watch Dragon Ball. Ooh, Goku's getting all powerful. That's it for Transformers Armada. Dragon Ball Z is next. Team Deathmatch. We've taken the lead. That's it for Transformers Armada. It really sounds like him. I need to look this up. Dragon Ball Z is next. Team Deathmatch. We've taken the lead. All right, there's one. There's two. Oh, they're gonna start spawning right behind me, aren't they? Yep. There's three. I gotta, I gotta start playing this a little safer. They could be anywhere at any moment. I'm gonna throw this little, little drone. Those drones are dangerous. See, that's the problem. They could just come in and ruin my day right away. Bam! There they go. Good job, guys. I don't even know what number we're at. I lost count now. There's that guy. Gonna run over here now. My friends, come on. We gotta be playing nice and safe. Nice and safe, everybody. That's the tr Oh, no! That, I thought that was safe. That wasn't safe at all. He was right there. He was right there trying to get in a bus. And he murdered me. All right, let's kick it off again. Predator missile. Predator Bam, right there. Oh, I almost hit the helicopter. Did you see that? Was that that? Did I hit the helicopter? Is that what that meant? I don't know. I didn't hit the helicopter. It's still up there, right? <laughs> Did I hit that helicopter? I don't know what that meant, but if it meant that I hit the helicopter, cool. All right, there's no one over here, which means there's probably bad guys. Maybe I can hang out on this bus. See, I like that they included a lot of Call of Duty 4 maps. I know I got the one wrong about Kill House, which hopefully we get to play. That is one of my favorites. But I, I hope we get to play that, because that is a good, good level. No! Whoa! What was that? What was that? It's always Box Boy! Box Boy, you're my, you're my true enemy, Box Boy! Looking back at this footage, it's a little sketchy. That guy is locked on directly to my body, kind of like how a computer would do it. Go, my little pet. Go and murder. <laughs> Fly. Fly. Where are you going? Oh, I thought he was going to leave. Oh. Oh, that guy was about to blow up. I mean, I'm happy we won. But I wanted to see that guy blow up. It's the little things that keep me going, you know? I want my M4. That one is always the go-getter, the hot to trot boy. Call of Duty Mobile just gave me a notification. Hey, you want to come play me? I'm playing you on the computer. Give me a break. All right, we're going to count this. Lord of the Rings, two towers style. Or was that Return of the King? I still only count as one. One. Sniper down. Two. Three. Four. All right, go little drone. Five, six. Is that two or just one? Can't tell, but flamethrower time. Oh, uh, he's too far. Oh, no, I got him. I got him. All right, I was probably safer over there. I'm, I'm risking it. I'm risking it for the biscuit. It. Oh, boy. Okay, all right, all right. You get away from me. I need to be surrounded by my team. Help! Nobody can do it alone, even if they're on PC. We still need our friends. That's the message of this story. I have no idea what I'm at. I have no idea what I'm at, but I gotta be getting close. Oh, my God. Oh boy, where's my team? I need to get to my team. Help me, guys. Help me, help me, help me, help me. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Help me, help me, team. Help me, team. Help me, help me. Okay. Oh, I'm still alive. Oh, God. But they're right here. They're right here. No. Die. 
Oh, he's right there. Reload the gun. Reload the gun. Reload the gun. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. All right. There we go. I'm out of ammo for that, but it's fine. Oh, I'm up. I must be high. I must be getting close. Come on. Come on. There's another one. Let's send out one more little drone guy. Get him, drone buddy. Get him. What am I at? Is that a gun? Pick up that. Pick up that. F. 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 Okay. All right. We got some ammo for this. That's good. This guy gonna come right around the corner right here. I can just sense it in my bones. Oh, victory. No! How close was I? How close was I? Oh, I have to be I had to have been so close. Number one, right there. I was killing it. You gotta you gotta show me the breakdown though. There's gotta be a breakdown. Well, there's gotta be a breakdown of my previous match, right? Oh, right here. No! No, I don't wanna level up. I wanna see the points. Uh kill. I can't gather information from this. Alright, Anthony of the future. Yes, you editing it right now. Yeah, you. Go back and count all the deaths and put the number on the screen. I had to have been close, I think. Whatever this number says. All right, a couple of tweaks. We're going back in. Hydration time! This time it's a Snapple. All right, we're on Crash. It's a classic, classic Call of Duty 4 map. The lighting actually doesn't look too bad. It's interesting where this game, and I was gonna use the word skimps. It doesn't skimp. It just, you know, sacrifices certain visual things, so it runs on mobile devices, you know, of all kinds. Alright, going in. This is it. This is the round. One. Two. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna play my- I'm gonna play myself nice and safe. Stick with my team. Maybe they'll kill them first. That's- that's my main goal here. Four. Right? Is that four? No, that was three. Four. I'll take it. Hello, bad people. Oh boy, oh boy. There's a bad person. Is that five? I'm really good with numbers, if you guys can't tell. Real, real good at the whole counting thing. Hide here. And right there. Get him, get him, get him. Ooh, is that a triple? Ooh, baby, a triple. I'll take it. I'll take the triple, baby. All right. I gotta get, I gotta get over my team. I feel exposed. I feel very exposed right now. Not in the, uh, in, in the sexy way. I'm gonna go to this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 I almost died right there. Real close to death right there. No, no. Pistol, pistol. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh. Oh my god. Oh boy. Get him, get him, get him. No, 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 no. No, no, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, fuck, no! No! No, burn! 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 Everyone burn! Burn! No! No! Oh, what was I at? What was I at, game? You gotta tell me. 16! That was it! I'm number one in the class every time. Still, it's not enough. Hey guys, this is Future Anthony, and let me take you on a bit of an adventure. So at this point in the video, I tweaked a few settings, and would you believe Shadowplay stopped recording? But the next match was the one where I got the nuke. Yes, it happened. And you know what? I wasn't gonna let this reaction go. So here, imagine it. I'm playing, I'm doing really good, I'm running on a high. Oh yeah, here we go, I'm murdering this guy, murdering that guy. I call in the nuke, I get it, I hit the button. Use it! How do I use it? F! Calling that nuke, baby! The nukes are dropping! We're dropping bombs! Yes! Yes! What? At that moment, the match ended without me being able to see the nuke. Yes, my reaction here is very, very legit. I did it, and I didn't get to see it. I don't get to see it! Really? I got it! You saw it! You saw me open up the case, you were pressing the buttons, I'm taking somebody else's nuke. Uh, some, someone else, I'm gonna find a new clip. Here it comes. Wow, wasn't that great? Wow, yeah, look at me, I'm number one because I got a nuke and I totally got to see it go off. That's it, I'm done. I can't even take it anymore. I don't even care. Nobody cares! Nobody even cares! It's fine. 
One more thing, during that last match, I started noticing a lot of the other players were moving around on grids, and I bring it up here in a second, and I'll try to find some footage of it, but it looked like these players that are supposed to be real people after level 10, I've heard, are following a grid like they're either bots or hackers, and I don't know which one's which. All right, I got the nuke, but was it in an online game? That was weird, because under th this whole time I was under the assumption I'm playing online, but those people were clearly following grids like bots. So what's the deal with this game? This is what I'm talking about with mobile stuff. I want it to be very clear when I'm not playing against real people. You know, I, I think they think, you know, most of the time people don't care. Ah, the kids, they'll just play, they don't give a shit. You have to tell people, otherwise it comes off manipulative and, and creepy. It's like they want me to play the game and feel good about myself so I give them some money. But regardless of that, it's fine. It's still not perfect though. Like I got the nuke, but barely. If you're playing on PC, it's not an instant win button. I understand the arguments perfectly that it's a mobile game, it should stick there. PC, why play it? The other thing is the technology with this. Like, the game doesn't run super well. When I had everything kind of maxed out, I was still getting under 60 FPS, you know, bumps. And so, if someone's looking to play a first-person shooter that's free to play and cheap, that runs well, going the mobile game route probably doesn't make much sense because you're emulating a phone. You might as well play something like Iron Sight or even, you know, older, more free-to-play shooters that, you know, they don't look great, but they run fine on older hardware. So it puts this in a weird place. Why would you play this on PC other than wanting to feel good about yourself and killing everyone because you have a slight advantage? It's like those people who hack, like, 10-year-old games just to win. Like, who the hell is hacking Call of Duty Ghosts in the year 2019? But there's people out there doing it. So, do I recommend playing this on PC? Uh, uh, no. Play it on your phone. That's where it shines the most because it is a legit fun Call of Duty experience and having that on your phone in your pocket at all times, that's genuinely cool. Um, I didn't even check out the Battle Royale mode, so if you guys want me to check out that, let me know. I can play it on PC or play some more on my phone. Let me know which one, but it was fun to look at this and to address a few of the, you know, uh, mistakes I had made in my previous video. If you somehow didn't watch that previous video, you can go and click on that. Link's in the description below. But if not, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And, uh, yeah. Modern Warfare comes out in, like, ten days. Calling talk. I want to play it. <laughs>